Is there someone from the Environmental Advisory Council here? Yes. Yes, sir. You're up. I'm George Sladani. I'm representing the EAC. Uh, before you tonight is a resolution uh, that we ask you to support for the increased use of native plants in the township. Uh, the use of native plants will benefit the community as a whole, as well as other plants in the area that are invaded by non-native plants, overgrown, uh, insects, the birds that live with the native plants, and eventually the, the people of the township. It's a good quality of life improvement for the community going forward. And so we just want to thank, thank the board for supporting EAC's activities. This is one of them. Uh, we're looking forward to continuing our work and effort in the future. And if I may just move to another thank you, uh, I'd like to thank the township for the other project they're supporting, uh, the pop-up garden in conjunction with the Audubon. We appreciate the support of the township for that project. And that's a joint project. So the Bucks County Audubon Society, Audubon, Pennsylvania, Newtown Township EAC, and the Newtown Borough EAC. So thank you. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to try and answer them. Any questions? Um, we can, uh, I, I would certainly second that. Move that up. Oh, sure, absolutely. I have a motion and a second. Uh, any questions from the board in regards to the motion? I have some questions. You can tell by my shirt that I support native plants. Was well, this for the motion? We can pass the motion, then you can ask why don't we do that. You're going to pass it as the, the uh, well, resolution as it's currently written. Uh, I have. Do you have questions about the resolution? Yes. Okay. Uh, usually, the resolution would have a definition of what you might call a native plant. I've been talking to several people, and there are differences of opinion. Uh, so I was just saying we should might have some throw something in there that gives a little bit of what a native plant is about and where you might go to get a list of the native plants that are uh, acceptable. Um, I know that the Department of uh, Conservation and Natural Resources defines a native plant as one that occurred within Pennsylvania before European settlement. Uh, the DNC DCNR maintains a list of native trees, shrubs, perennials, ferns, and grasses. So I might propose that you put that definition in there. That's where we're going to go to determine what a native plant really is. And we, we concur there is, there is confusion and difference of opinion. Different organizations have their own lists as they consider to be native plants. It, pretty much impossible to find one definition that's held universally or even within a state or even within counties for with, among different organizations. So we certainly would be open to that. We realize that we have to deal with this ambiguity, but we're hoping that by stepping forward, even with some amount of ambiguity, that we'll have a positive benefit that comes out of it and we can always tighten that up at a future date. So if the township were to uh, do some plantings, we would have to, at that time, determine whether these plantings were actual native plants. I think you would, some definition. I think you would find that for many plants, there's general agreement that they would be considered native plants. But native plant lists can be hundreds of, of species long. So. There are, there are some that are more generally accepted by all the groups, but there is no single list that we can refer to. We can pick one, but again, sometimes having a little bit of leeway in it is, is beneficial. Now, I know we don't have any jurisdiction over what uh, homeowners, HOAs, and commercial developers can plan, but... Uh, we, we do. We do because there's a list of acceptable plantings of street trees and things like that mm -hmm. in the subdivision land development ordinance. Okay. That was my other concern about how we could monitor that. So, all right, well, I'm willing to accept some ambiguity uh, moving forward, I guess. All right, thank you. Okay. And, and if I 
could uh, yes. mention as well, we have at the EAC, as in, and I'm the EAC liaison from, from the supervisors, um, we have talked about updating the cell bill. Uh, I've mentioned it to uh, the township manager, and certainly we, there, there's room to update the saldo and, and get a, a, a verified, acceptable, uh, for at least for local standards, set of what a native plant is, uh, and get that list together. I, I was looking through some of my materials, and I found a, a file that was dated from 2012 of a list of about 20 or 30 native plants that I think was given to me when we went um, to um, up in um, Upper Mayfield, Bowman's Hill. The difficulty that you see is that the, the usefulness of some of the native plants changes over time. Mm -hmm. uh, as we've discussed within the EAC, as climate changes, some of the native plants that may have been suitable or recommended 50 or 100 years ago may not, if you extrapolate out, may not be that viable as the environment changes. So even though you may have a list, these lists really should be updated over time. Uh, so my recommendation was going to be that the EAC continue to work on providing us a list, uh, seeing if, if someone comes with a project that they'd like to do uh, around their home that we'd have a uh, list of native plants that they could go by, you know, we'd have a definition and, and at that point that comes from the, from the EAC. Right, and we realize that there's, there's, there's gaps with the Homeowners Association, one thing one project the EAC is working on now is an environmental forum, potentially to hold an environmental forum with the HACs uh, next year, and certainly native plants will be part of them. I'm just really happy that we got something moving forward, and this is, this is a step in the right direction. Okay, any other questions? Okay, hearing none, uh, we have a Motion and a second. I will call the question. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Resolution passes 5 0. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Okay. Planning Commission. I see Mr. Fiddler out there. Come on up. Alan Fiddler, Chairman of the New Town Township Planning Commission. Before I give you a synopsis this evening, I, I would caution the township to consider engaging the EAC in updating the invasive species in the economy, ecological balance today in Pennsylvania. It has changed. Plants that were on the Saldo's list of approved plantings have been determined to be non-native invasive species that should be removed from the saldo. If you couple that with the infestation of foreign pests that are attacking native species of plants and trees in Pennsylvania today, primarily the lanternfly and the ash borer. The list of native species that may be viable for the next 20 years may be a lot different than what we have today on the native plant species list that we should embrace. Again, I, I just caution the township, the EAC, and our county to really look at the invasive species list, purple loose strife, which is an invasive species that chokes out a lot of natural habitat, is in the central part of Pennsylvania rampant. So these issues are not just a local issue. It, it engages the township, the EAC, and the county to be proactive in working together to update the best information available for municipalities, HOAs, and private residents. So I get off my soapbox. As a horticulturist, this is a passion that I've had for over 40 years. So uh, 